A king has no friends. Only followers. And foe. A new chapter of my life has begun. As prince, I spent my days drinking, clowning. Now I find myself the king. Choose your steps wisely, dear brother. They have their own kingdoms behind their eyes. I need men around me I can trust. You are my friend. I will come with you. David, interesting. These two Australians uh, tackling <laughs> Shakespeare and themes uh, that are very uh, still quite powerful, mm -hmm. no matter how many, right? How much time goes by. Yeah. So uh, I was just talking with Joel, and this project really came from your two minds together. Do you want to tell us how it came about? And uh, why, Mora? And why? Why Henry V uh, today? Well, I mean, I got it. I don't know what Joel's version of the story is, but I had, um, you know, he 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 had been approached to play a character in a in a, 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 a you know kind of st like a sort of cartoon studio, ain't like epic historical epic, and it was not the kind of thing he was he was interested in doing. He had played Hal on stage, fresh out of drama school, um, when he was a young man, about t the age Timmy is now. And, um, and he, you know, his, he came to me and said, um, what if we did some version of Henry V? And I, re I, I, I liked the idea because it was, not an idea I ever would have had for myself. Uh, he, um, I would never would have thought I'd make a kind of medieval <laughs> swords and horses movie. We, um, we, we, um, we read a bunch of, we read, you know, we went back and read um, Shakespeare's plays. I did a lot of research and we started, I started to, you know, we started to see that there was a, a story to be told about, um, a very contemporary story to be told about um, the, about power and about the, you know, ab and about, but not just about power, but about the, um, how, how, institu how institutions can be informed by the, the, the emotions and psychologies of individuals inside those institutions. You know? um, and it was like, you know, as soon as that stuff started to fall into place, then we were away. Now you will be watched over by an altogether different king. France is taunting us. They were my father's enemies, not mine. The screams of your men? So lull me to sleep at night. You will not topple this King Henry V of England you so underestimate. <laughs> and in fact, that's what I was wondering. What makes it so contemporary? You mentioned contemporary. It's, ve it's very true. You, the, those, you know, there are universal uh, themes uh, that keep coming back. Mm. Well, I mean, in a way, it's just like this is one of the, re you know, I think our, our our version is very different from other other kind of versions of the story of Henry V that have been told, you know, including Shakespeare's. In that, um, uh, what makes it contemporary for us is that you know the the this is is that it is about a kind of movement an almost unstoppable movement towards war you know that 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 is that is more powerful than the than 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 individuals uh, who might occupy the main chair you know that there is something about the the, the the design of the the great institutions of 
the great institutions of power that has that for which that movement is kind of unstoppable, you know. Um, and that's what felt perfect for us. And you know, this the story of the story of a young man who thinks he knows how to, he thinks he can do the job better than his dad, and discovers that the job is so much larger than he ever anticipated. And finally, uh, what about being here at the Venice Film Festival with this film? Your thoughts about? Oh, it's very, it's incredibly exciting. You know, this is, I love this festival. I've been, I came here, this feels like a full circle for me. I came here in 2007 with um, a sh like a short film that I made that was, this was the first proper festival experience I'd ever had. Um, it was and hugely important for me, you know, it made me feel like I could maybe this, maybe this filmmaking thing can be a career, you know. And so it feels so wonderful to me to be back here 12 years later and um, with a big one, you know, and with my fourth movie and uh, yeah, it's exciting. And a big period sword movie yeah. <laughs> and horses. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought it? I never would have known that 12 years ago.